Hey, hey, how are y'all today? I'm coming to y'all this evening with um, a little Q&A because over on Instagram, Tanny Raw Instagram, if you don't go over there, um, I put up a, hey, hey, tomorrow is Q&A, leave your cues and I'll try to have your A's, which is question and answer. But I didn't know y'all were gonna have 82 questions right away, so let's get started, shall we? And by the way, just as a disclaimer, you know, I come to y'all with the, the answers from my own life to your questions, and you can take it or leave it at your own discretion. Do you know what I mean? I just know what's worked for me, and I know what's worked for hundreds of people that that I work with all the time. And, um, and that has brought me to really realize, I already knew this, but really drive it home in my mind how different people are and how their bodies are working different and they're in a different place and it is very important to embrace people where they are love people up to their next level no matter where they are the key is loving them up to the next level encouraging them um and taking encouragement yourself so let's get started shall we so um let's see uh this friend b-e-r-c-e-d-e-s Versides. See, spelling is not really like, unless it's really plain and obvious. I might say your name wrong, so just forgive me, will you? So anyway, this friend said, did it take, look, I'm a genius this night because I have Tanny Raw YouTube pulled up on my, not, no, not YouTube, but Instagram pulled up on my computer, which was like an epiphany to me, like an aha moment. See, it doesn't take, take much to impress me. <laughs> I've never actually looked at that through my website or uh, anything else other than my phone. But anyway, did it take you one big event to switch to raw or was it gradual? Um, how, how can I draw a light from within the way you do? Okay, first of all, let's talk about the first question. You know, when I came to my health journey and I'm not going to go over this I, I have um, some videos called healing autoimmune disorder and I have another hour-long video on cooked and raw vegan and I forget that dude's name but I did an interview with him and it's like an hour long telling the whole saga of my life okay but what I do want you to know is when I started on my journey it took me five years five solid years floundering around after ten years of being sick to come to a place where I was getting real results because I had found low-fat raw vegan, okay? I had stumbled into vegetarian, vegan, stumbled into juicing, stumbled into all these different things, fasting, which all of those things played a key component. But had I known then what I know now, I could have bypassed a lot of that journey, okay? Because when I realized getting a plan of getting most of my calories from fruit in the day, balancing those with greens, okay, balancing those with a little bit of healthy plant fat, let's just say like um, ground flax seeds or chia seeds, which you all know are my favorite, um, you know, getting in a snack later in the day with some fruit calories, balancing with veggies and mainly celery because I want to get that natural sodium. Then it will give me stability all through the day, energy, stability, minerals, carbohydrates for fuel for my brain you know a little bit of fats for balance and then at night really packing in those veggie meals when i started really doing that eight months is about how long it took me to lose 86 now it's 88 pounds and heal all my diseases which was just my body being at dis-ease understand i was very very sick i was very overweight i was very depressed I was angry. I, I was a lot of things that I'm not now. So it was gradual, but only because back then, you're talking about 14 years ago, there wasn't a direct path. You know, and even if you, you go to, you know, low fat, high carb, you may toy around with, well, can you can you eat some cooked foods, cooked carbs? Does that work for you? Do do starches and grains work for you? Do you know, do you do better? And if you do better on raw, how to be feeling like you it's a sustainable situation, you know? So 
there could be some tweaks in your road. So allow that for yourself. But um, I think that even if someone wanted to really get a plan and they had some help, s someone to let them know that, um, okay, so, so you felt a little uneasy today. Your body, you know, it's been six, eight, eight weeks, you're on raw, you're probably going through some detox, you know rather than just bailing shit or you know you do fall off a little bit and someone to remind you that um all your efforts don't just go away you still have results from that don't let it just make you think well i suck i'll begin again you know next year or whenever or i'll come back to this later or frankly pushing the easy button by saying you know what fruited. I can't do this. So anyway, looking to people that have done it, listening, honing in on your body, and mapping out a plan so that you're not just trying to think, well, what is my body calling for right now? My body wants Oreos. I must need that. No, you must not need that. Your body's confused because you've been giving it toys for fuel all these years. You know what I mean? Just like I did. So anyway, it took me five years, but it didn't have to. It's only because back then there was no, if you went to raw, it was more like gourmet raw. And I did that for a while and I was feeling better and my diseases were coming to a balance, but I wasn't really healing a lot of things like um, depression. I wasn't healing nodular acne. Um, I had several other issues, okay? I had very, very severe women issues, okay? And um, it, debilitating menstrual cramps and flow and all these different things. Doctors wanted to give me a full hysterectomy at 30 years old. What the heck is that? And then even on down the road a little bit, wanted to do this uterine ablation where they run hot water up inside you to make scar tissue so that you don't... Um, bleed anymore something about that doesn't seem natural you know what i'm saying but anyway i've avoided all that and i've regained my health so stick with it and if you want to do it overnight you can but get you a dang plan and if you want to do it gradually you can do that too and i would also map out a plan i would map out a gradual plan where every week i knew what the heck i was doing next week is not going to be the same as this week because i'm transitioning or say you want to give yourself three weeks on everything Okay, in three weeks, you're not doing the same thing. You've put these things that were your crutch to the side, onward and upward. Do you see what I mean? Not staying the same, or you could find yourself five years from now transitioning and even getting lax with the transition and you're doing worse than you were before. You see what I'm saying? Um, they also said, the same friend said, um, how, uh, how can I draw from the light within the way you do. You know, it's taken me a long time to get to that point in my life, and, and I've made a lot of videos on this, but stop looking at everyone else and start looking at yourself. Start making a journal and bringing things to judgment the way you talk to yourself, you know? Do you say, um, you know what, you, you're just disgusting. Like, you can't, you can't blank. You are blank. You talk to yourself like you certainly wouldn't talk to your mother like that, probably. You wouldn't talk to any friends. Friends are a better, a better example. You wouldn't talk to your friends like that. You wouldn't talk to someone else's child, even in a, in a shopping mall like that. But you talk to yourself like that. We have to start loving ourselves first so we can love everybody else. Loving yourself first. And it's not selfish. It's selfless. Loving yourself is selfless. Because when you don't love yourself, you can't be your authentic self. And when you're not your authentic self, you can't give your light to this world. You can't help anyone until you raise yourself up first. Do you see what I mean? So when you love yourself, you can come to everybody else with your positive, enthusiastic energy or your low-key energy or whatever expression. You know what I mean? Loving yourself first. That's how you do it. You draw from within by loving yourself first. Um, and then she, she had a lot of good points here. Um, she said, how can I promote raw veganism with positivity? How can I just be positive instead of depressed about all the animals and sick people out there? Well, you know, when you first come to veganism and, or, and, and raw veganism, plant-based diet, even you, you turn vegetarian or, you know, and, and it's a very different thing and you can feel like you're up on your soapbox and you're looking at all this and, and I'll tell you what though, 
when you're down and depressed about that and you're like, am I shining my light on anybody like this? No, but I am like this. Do you see the difference? Showing your love, going to where people are, and starting by, when you're talking to people, listening, and not listening to listen to be ready to respond, listen to hear. You know what I mean? Feel felt found. I understand how you feel. I felt that way when, but I have found. Do you see what I mean? Do you understand that method? I know how you feel by connecting with this person or these people some way. You can find a common ground with almost anybody, okay? I know how you feel. I felt that way when, and you feel like a real authentic place where you felt that way. You know what I mean? And you found a way past that. You found a better way, and this is not knocking them down. It's showing your enthusiasm. Do you see what I mean? I don't find that cracking on people for their lifestyle gets me anywhere. Maybe it's just not my style, but um, I'm just I'm just not going to go to a Christmas dinner and crack on everyone else's food. I'm not going to eat it, and I'm not going to say, oh, well, that's great. You still love turkey or whatever. Um, I'm going to shine my light. And when people say, you certainly do have a positive attitude. You, you know, you've been through all this. How can you still be like, or, um, you know, you're looking great, and you're feeling great, and, and how are you doing that? I tell them the good things. I don't crack on their bad things. You see what I mean? And I think the longer we've been in this, the more you start to see that when you can go to people with love, shine your light with love and enthusiasm, that's when you draw people to you. You know what I mean? And even if you don't feel that you've drawn them closer to you, I remember years ago I had a boyfriend when I was about, um, I don't know, 17 or 18, and he was a, a religious person in my eyes. I had never gone to church, which is odd. I live in the Bible Belt of the South, okay? But I never stepped my foot in the door except going to a, um, like a vacation Bible school where everybody there made me feel like uh, I didn't know how to do these Bible drills. I never cracked up in a Bible in my life, you know? So anyway, um, he started to kind of tell me his testimony at one point, and this, my show is clearly not about religion, but what I'm gonna say is, I heard him then, but I didn't take it to heart till later, you see? But I always remembered that seed that Jeff planted in my mind, you know? I always remembered it. So remember that, sometimes the seeds that you throw out on hard soil won't take root then. Maybe later it needs a little moisture, a little rain, a little sun from someone else, but you originally threw that out and it will grow. You know, that's what it's about, not taking credit, shining your light, and um, the gifts will return later to the world. You see what I mean? By you being authentic to yourself. Um, this is the problem with these Q&As because I have a lot to say, you know. Uh, and then she said, I love you, Tanya. Um, Tanya, you're a great role model for people of all ages and lifestyle. I hope I can be like you one day. That's really sweet. I'm just a person. I'm just a person. I'm just a girl in the big world. I'm just a little girl who became a mom that's trying to be a grown person that's trying to do the best I can. And, you know, as you become more of who you authentically want to be, and people say something like that to you, pull it inside and say, thank you. You know, say thank you and continue to shine your light. So anyway, I will come back to y'all um, maybe in just a minute with a more hey and hey Q&A. Bye.